Well, I think we got a chance to be a good football team. I'm, I'm excited to get started August 4th when we go to practice. We certainly have a very, very good nucleus coming back. When you look at defensively, the vets that we have back on the defensive front, the size and, and physical strength we have on our inside guys, and the speed we have on the edges, this will be the best defensive line we've had since we've been there. We've got a very, very good experience coming back at linebacker with Jerry Franklin and Jericho Nelson, two of the guys that have led us in tackles in the past uh, two or three years. And then secondary-wise, we've got great experience back there. So I'm, I'm really excited about you know a defense that should be our best defense since we've been there, has a chance to, to dominate and, and play football the way you're supposed to play defensively. Offensively, you know, we have a couple questions uh, as far as our offensive front goes and our quarterback position will be inexperienced and, and youthful, but talented. You know, it's, it's hard to replace two senior tackles that played three years in a row as far as making the, um, not making the mistakes because they, they, those two guys last year, you know, played real well for us. They, they held the edges. They didn't make, they made very few mistakes. Uh, they might got beat a time or two, but they actually knew what they were doing just about every play. And we might be bigger, we should be more athletic at those positions, but certainly we'll be, be younger and, and uh, not as knowledgeable. Uh, we're going to have to play to our strengths, and our strengths will be our running back position and our wide receiver position where we're fast and talented and experienced. So. We've got to make sure that we don't ask our offensive line and our quarterbacks to do too much and find a way to get the ball in our, our running backs' hands with space and room to run and our receivers' hands where they can make plays. Um, been a situation like this before as a coach and started level. So how does this challenge you personally your face? Well, I like it. I actually like it. I like when you when you have youth and you and you have challenges ahead of you. I think our offensive line coach is a, a guy that really likes it. He looks forward to it. He doesn't like to hear that the question mark is our offensive line. And I think they all understand that. Um, much like our defense last year, you know, everybody said that Arkansas would be a good team if they can play defense. And our defense took it personal. And I know our offensive line's taken it personal. It seems like this program is Well, that's, that's, that's what you hope to do. You know, I'm very proud of our previous three years and the improvement that we've made. Uh, the groundwork has been set so our guys understand the expectations on how we're going to prepare, how we're going to practice, um, what we believe in. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to this year for our seniors. You know, this is a group of guys that came in. Um, a lot of them played as true freshmen. Some played as redshirt freshmen. They've put in a tremendous amount of effort and, and uh, hard work and really have grown up and, and set the standards for our program. So I certainly would like to see our, our seniors take the next step and, and go out with the, with the championship. Speaking of picking up where you left off, Niall, great second half of the season. Can he be the best back in the SEC this year? I think he can. He's got some pretty good competition. You know, when you look at the running backs in our conference and you know, the guys coming back, it, it's, there's a lot of competition there. What Niall has to worry about is just running the football the way he knows how, one, worry about one game at a time, doesn't even have to think about the other backs in the conference, and how can I help my team win games? Because that's really what he did last year, the last half of the season, is he was going to do everything in his power to help us win games. Well, it's, it's great competition in our league. There's no question about that. Alabama will have a very good football team coming back. They always do. They're, they're going to have really good experience on defense and um, a running back that's, you know, might be the most physical running back in, in our conference. So they're always tough. And obviously LSU always is very, very talented, have a lot of experience coming back. And, uh, you know, that's always the last game of the year. So we don't think a lot about LSU um, until we get into the season and, and you get to watch a lot of video on them because either they're playing a team we play the next week or, or whatever, but uh, that's a long way away. I think what's important for us, we 
when you look at our conference and you, and you look at the history of the national champions that have come out of the SEC, you know, that's what you use to motivate yourself in the winter, in spring football, and all summer long to do all the hard work and all the sweat and, and everything you do as a team. Once we get into to August 4th, it's about getting better one day, one practice, and playing one week at a time. Yeah, you know, we're going to let both of them have a chance at it. We had competition throughout the spring between Tyler Wilson and Brandon Mitchell. Uh, we're going to continue that into the fall. It's something I like to do. I think it puts pressure on them to prepare every day and stresses them out a little bit. And I'd, I'd like to have a lot of pressure in practice, a lot of pressure to perform in scrimmages and make Saturday, you know, the fun day, the easy day. Coach isn't around. I get to go out and relax and play. You know, that, that's kind of how I like to, to coach the quarterback. But Tyler's a young man that, that can really throw the ball. You know, even the last two years, three years for that matter, him and Ryan, you know, they talk about who made this throw better, who can make that throw better. I can throw this pass better than you can. Um, so he certainly has confidence that he can make all the throws you need to make to win games. Well, DJ is a guy that, you know, we're going to miss. You're not going to replace DJ Williams with just one player because for three years, you know, he converted third downs. He ran great routes. He was very, very hard to tackle after the catch, and he could run block and pass protect. So he became a, a complete tight end and uh, a guy that was a tremendous leader for us, you know, has an unbelievable story, and we're going to miss him. There's no doubt. The, the, the whole university is going to miss D.J. Williams. Chris Gregg had a good spring. Chris has, came into us as a wide receiver. He continued to get bigger and stronger and faster, and uh, he's, a, he's a real threat in the passing game. And he improved this spring in his run blocking and his pass protection, but he's still going to have to take a step forward there. Um, we also got a couple other guys that really need to step up so they can help Chris split, you know, DJ's production. What's Brandon's attitude been like with Tyler getting all the attention? What's Brandon's attitude? It's been great. You know, I, I think where Brandon's at is he understands in spring ball that I had good practices. He came out weeks in practice where, hey, I might have had two or three practices better, practice better than, than Tyler did. Well, one part of, of becoming a football player is, is being able to take that practice over into the testing part, you know. You're always teaching and you're always learning in practice, but now I've got to take it over into the scrimmage, into the spring game. And sometimes it takes a little bit to be able to make that transition. And he, he had a couple of weeks in practice where he looked real good, maybe didn't scrimmage as well as we would like to or he would like to scrimmage. Obviously, he's disappointed in the spring game, but he's got a great attitude. He's very competitive and is looking forward to practice starting. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you.